everyone, my name is Max Boy, and I was assigned the country of South Sudan, and the history aspect that I've selected is Nuba, of which I will be presenting to you today. So, Nuba is a form of wrestling that takes place in South Sudan, as some of you may know. And, um, it was created way back in ancient times, and it is a technique that has been used to train soldiers, and has also been a way of life, such as, you know, we have competitive sports. That's kind of South Sudan's competitive sport. So, the sport in Nuba has evolved over many ages, and... Um, so originally, soldiers or people uh, used to do it as a hobby or training, and they would cover themselves in things such as cow butter or ash. But now, most people or soldiers who train and use it uh, just wear athletic shorts and t-shirts. And um, also, the soldiers would just use it as a training technique, but now, since the people are use it competitively, it's actually as if, you know, we have football, and we watch football, and we root for a team. Well, people in South Sudan root for a certain wrestler in the Nuba organization. The main aspect of Nuba is wrestling. In wrestling, it's mainly grappling, but they can also throw strikes. There's many different next techniques that are involved in wrestling, and also, many competitors will either fight for their village's honor or money. Here in the U.S., when we wrestle, we wrestle on mats. In South Sudan, they aren't as wealthy as a country as we are, so what they do is they make a circle of dirt of which the two competitors wrestle. And then, around that circle of dirt, are just bu a bunch of viewers that are just going crazy and cheering for their favorite wrestler. One technique or move that is used in Nuba wrestling is the grapple. Basically, in grappling, what you're trying to do is you're trying to grapple your opponent, or lock up with them, and then try and throw them to the ground in any way possible. This is grappling. <laughs> All right. Another technique that is used in Nuba is hand-to-hand -hand combat, which involves striking and kicking. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is mainly meant for, basically, if your opponent is attacking you, to either break them away from you or to size them up for some takedown that you may want to perform. This is hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and last but certainly not least is the takedown, of which that's basically how you can win a match. Because in Nuba, if you take your opponent down to the dirt and get them on your back, you win the match. What most Nuba wrestlers do when it comes to a takedown is they try and get lower than their wrestler can in their stance, and then they shoot, which is basically... When you try, when you go at your opponent, what they usually end up doing is grabbing the legs and trying to take them to the dirt. Some stronger wrestlers will just try and pick up their opponent and just throw them to the dirt. For quicker and smaller wrestlers, they try and get down low to be able to take their opponent down. Bigger and stronger wrestlers sometimes pick up their opponents. Wrestling also involves a bunch of other techniques, but they, they're involved with all sorts of other martial arts, such as karate, kung fu, taekwondo, and even tai chi. One reason that makes Nuba just so important to South Sudan is that it's, what, it's one of the huge main aspects and historical aspects of South Sudan. It's what makes South Sudan just so unique in so many different ways. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you guys have learned a bunch about Nuba and how it's just it's made a country unique. It's so important to that country. It's a huge competitive sport. So many people not only do it for fun, but as training. There's so many techniques. It's so compl complicated. I, ju I just hope that you guys have really enjoyed this and that you guys have learned a bunch from this. So thank you guys for watching. Yeah. I'd also like to thank Henry Boy, a.k.a. Dad, for working with me in this video and being very cooperative and featuring in the examples that involved grappling, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and also takedowns. So, yeah, I'd like to thank him. Bye, guys.